So let's take a look at the Intel Core i5-5287U, a broadbill processor that releases in January 2015. Broadbill is a successor to the Haskell processor but has an improved uh, manufacturing process. While the Haskell was 22 nanometer process, the Broadbill is 14 nanometer process. Uh, so by moving to this process, it does basically two things. First, for Intel, it, it can fit in more number of transistors in a given area and that increases its uh, profitability. But it also required Intel to invest uh, putting up new fabrication home. Now for the customers, it gives you better performance for the given power consumption. So I, you are, the Intel should be able to um, bump up the clock speed for the given uh, uh, given uh, power consumption and that's one area that that benefits the customers. Now Broadwell also has slight improvement in branch prediction, also has a bigger buffer size and these two things uh, improve its uh, for processor performance for a given clock. So the, there are both of the things going on in Broadwell, uh, manufacturing process improvement as well as slight improvement in processor architecture. But Broadwell is basically a process improvement uh, in the tick, TikTok uh, process. So it also has some new instruction set for cryptography that should improve its performance in cryptographic based applications including many of the internet browsing to the, to the sites that requires cryptography. Uh, I5 is basically a dual core and four hyperthread processor clocked at uh, reasonably high at 2.9 GHz and supports turbo clock up to 3.3 GHz. Means that you are going to get pretty close to a desktop, most of the current uh, desktop level for performance, even while keeping its power consumption very low. We have seen some sites reporting its uh, power consumption at 15 watt, while uh, we are not sure at this point whether it's 25, 15 watts or it could be uh, 28 watts. But we have seen it on sites that that releases the uh, slides. For example, this one shows from uh, a slide shows 5. i5-5287, and that shows a 15 watt. Uh, TDP rating. So, uh, I have a, the, the columns here are messed up. So the the mean be unedited version of these things. And to me, it looks like uh, 28 watt could be more reasonable value for this processor. So check back out on uh, the Intel's website the actual TDP rating. Uh, as we said, it's a 5% uh, performance improvement compared to the Haswell for the same clock. But if you look at the graphics, that's a different story. The new graphics has a native display for DisplayPort 1.2, which will basically allow the display as well as other uh, data to go through that port, using, including a USB 3.0 and so on. It also supports DirectX 11.2 for the first time. And with this graphics, kind of graphics um, improvement, you should uh, play almost all of the games in low setting and most of the games in medium settings. Uh, the i5 5287U also comes with a much improved graphics in the form of Iris HD 6100. It has 48 execution, execution units and we expect it to be much faster than Iris Graphics 5100 in in Haswell. Uh, if you compare it for example with the Haswell i7-2057 it used, it has a 3 GHz and 3.5 GHz turbo clock. Uh, you should see a comparable CPU performance and much better um, graphics performance. We hope that it helps you. Keep checking more 